hello welcome back everyone in this video i'm going to show you how to apply triangular loads or non-uniform loads on beams in etaps well let's start well some of you may ask where uh, and uh, how we may apply triangular loads and where it may occur possibility of occurrence okay so uh, if you can if you see this uh, uh, simple uh, room that you see here we may have uh, a, a, top, a top tie beam here somewhere here okay a beam here so there will be a wall that is uh, acting on or that is resting on the beam around here okay so this is a kind of uh, maybe if we have a beam here something like this so this top wall the wall above it will have uh, will apply a load that's kind of triangular on the beam like you see it here like you see it here okay so uh, this beam will be supported by columns at some interval for this example i will consider these four columns that are spaced at two meter here and two meter here and at the middle four meter spacing okay so i will model this beam on etaps so let's directly go to the etaps well i have opened my etaps here uh, so these triangular or non-uniform loads can be applied in at least two ways okay at least two ways i will show you the two meters okay well let me first uh, define the let, let me edit the grid data here i will uh, modify here and a b and maybe i will need c and d if then from here up to here it will be two meter then uh, two plus four it will be here six then it will be eight here okay the grid is something like this now uh, let me make this uh, define let me keep this one as it is let me say okay now i have this uh, kind of layout here now let me apply a column let me define a column here define uh, section property and here this i have already defined a beam here let me define the column a new property then maybe a rectangle here maybe 30 by 30 whatever okay and the concrete already this one let me select this one so column let me make it 30 by 30 okay it means 30 centimeter by 30 centimeter so 300 by 300 okay well, uh, so let me say, check here, uh, all the reinforcement is 400, uh, the clear cover, let me make maybe 25, here let me make it 3, all these things, uh, maybe discuss another time. Now, fine, okay, this, I will use this beam, so this is my column, now let me draw the columns, okay, columns. I can draw it in, in different ways, but anyhow, let me select this one so let me select uh, the beam here a beam here click here then click here then here then here okay done uh, finally let me draw the columns and don't forget i am using the frame beam okay anyhow i will change it later when i finish drawing okay i will assign the the correct co column section for it okay now let me select these columns the four columns has been selected check it here now i will assign the frame section the column 30 by 30 i will just drag it here and done now it is the beams are beam 40 by 20 and this is 30 by 30 columns now let me select the, the beams to apply the load let me assume the load is maybe detail load or live load whatever because our aim of this video is just to show you how the triangular load is distributed now you know you you know that uh, i have one beam like this and it is triangulated from this end to the center and from here to here so it's better that we may join these three beams then later on we can divide them okay let me go to edit then edit frame then maybe join here so i will have one beam element here so it will be easy to apply the load here let me select the element then go to the cell assign frame load then distribute it now here is the game okay? you can select any of the uh, load that you're considering for me dead load okay now i will start with the first meter that is relative distance from end i so 
it is taking a ratio of the distance between where you want to apply the load and the total length of the element. So the center is at 0 0.5. Okay, for example, the center is 0 0.5. This end is 0, this end is 1. Now, when we, I start from here up to this center, divided by the whole length, it means from here up to the center, it's 4 meter, divided by the whole length is 8, so it will be 0 0.5. Okay, if it is here, it is 6 divided by 8, around 0 0.5. 75. So if it's full, so 8 divided by 8, it will be 1. So now with this ratio, let me start here, okay? Let me make this one 0 0.5. Then this one, maybe 1. I don't need this one, okay? I don't need this one. Now here, I will make it here, at here, 0. Now at 0 0.5, how much load do you want? Okay? For example, if you have uh, 10 kilonewton per meter, you will make it 10. Now, at 1, it will be 0, okay? Because it will be 0 here, then here 10, then here 0, okay? Done. Now, I can say apply exactly how I wanted it, okay? This is how you have drawn the uh, triangular load like this, okay? This is the first meter. The second meter is that we use the absolute distance from end I. So here, I will have to insert the dimensions as it is on the actual beam length okay what does it mean now let me make this one zero okay let me, let me make this one zero apply now this is there's no load here let me select again this beam and let me select the second choice that is the absolute distance from in the eye now it wants the dimension where you want the loads and their uh, variation on the beam now at zero the load will be zero so at zero, the load will be zero. Then at four, it, because it's from here up to it's two, from here up to it's two, from here up to it's two. So at the center, it is four, right? So at four meter, how much do you want? So here at four meter, let me make it 10 again. Finally, at here, at eight, it's measuring it from this end, okay? From this end along the X axis. So here it will be eight. So on eight, on eight, I have zero load okay so for so zero here 10 here then zero here okay now let me apply it here again the same result like in the first method okay so uh, this is how you may apply uh, triangular or non-uniform loads on the beams okay on the beams for example if i have a zero here and uh, sorry if i have maybe here 10 and then maybe I have here five, okay? So it will be kind of uh, trapezoid, okay? Kind of like that. So let me make it like that. 10 here, then five here. So I will need only two points, okay? Two points. At zero, I will have 10. Then at eight, I will have what? Five. No, here, I don't need it. I don't need it, okay? Now here, let me select this element. Then I will say what? Uh, apply. Now it is 10 here and it is 5 here. So this is how you will apply loads, uh, non uniform loads on the beams. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Comment in the in the comment section. See you next time.